Jane, tell me a little bit about what the Indians are doing. Well, tonight we're doing a, uh, a fundraiser for Providence House, uh, which is a crisis nursery here um, just a, about two miles over the bridge uh, with the Wise Association. So really, this is the Wise Association event and our department just helps them execute it. So we're, we're selling uh, tickets for $50 each. They come over here, redeem their ticket for a mystery ball, and then we're also having a silent auction. What other kind of things are the Indians involved in? Um, on the, on the uh, Indian side, it's from Cleveland Indians Charities. Um, we do uh, a couple of things. We fund youth baseball in the city of Cleveland, so five to 19 year olds, about 4,000 kids, play baseball in the city of Cleveland free of charge. Um, we fund all of that through the Cleveland Baseball Federation and in, in uh, concert with the city of Cleveland. They work together to run those programs. We also fund uh, high school uh, boys and girls baseball and softball for the city of Cleveland uh, high school um, public school system. And we uh, have a great partnership with uh, the Boys and Girls Club. We fund programming there as well. It's got to be a lot of fun when the high school kids come down to play on the field. They absolutely do. Um, the, uh, we, we have hold the Senate Championship game here on the field. It was a couple of weeks ago, so out of the 11 high schools, uh, the, two, um, the two schools that have the, high, the best records get to come down and do get out here, which is a great event. And then actually, a couple weeks ago, we had um, 1,100 10 to 12 year olds, 10 to 13 year olds down here for a camping clinic. And they're all the kids that play in our youth baseball program. And we had players out on the field hanging out with them. Grady Sizemore was out, um, who's our spokesperson for our uh, youth baseball program, um, and a few coaches. And it was just a great day. The kids did an, had an exhibition game and stayed for our game and had a parade. It was just a great day. 1,100? 1,100. <laughs> We know that Larry Dolan was a little leaguer himself. Absolutely. Are the charities kind of steered their way through the Dolan family? Well, the, the Dolans are very, very sincere about their philanthropic work. Um, we were supporting these organizations before they bought the team, but we certainly do it in a much bigger way now. Um, and Larry Dolan played baseball in for Cleveland Baseball Federation, and that's who we fund to run the uh, the inner city Cleveland program. Is it something that people can actually contribute to, or they just be attending events? Can people actually contribute to? the charities or is it by attending events that they support it? Well they certainly would, we would love if they attended our events. We have two coming up, one on August 17th which is after the game here in Heritage Park we have a Hall of Fame celebration event. We have the golf outing on um, the next day on Monday the 18th of August but if they just want to make a donation they can go online to indians.com and there's a place where you can put in pledges. Just $30 provides um, provides one child in the city to play to play baseball. So, you know, you can sponsor a kid or a team or whatever you'd like. Very good. All right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.